Uh, I mean, we speak a lot about science, technology, engineering, and, and maths, the STEM kind of, of, of court of subjects. But yet, from what we know, the gender divide, uh, digital divide and science divide, is very big. It is. It's stark. Only 30%, um, as we know. Um, of science researchers are women and that statistic is actually lower in African countries. I guess in South Africa it might also be, be lower if you, if you consider that's a global figure. Yes. Now your organization, what do you actually do? We run an after-school program that works with small groups of girls and we give them a hands-on experience of science. We teach them really fun and exciting science activities and um, we teach them how to do those for their peers and their communities as a way of sharing their knowledge and increasing their curiosity in science. Now, where do you find them? Is it across South Africa? It is. We mainly target disadvantaged communities, uh, townships in Gauteng, but we've been to other provinces, KZN and Western Cape so far. Uh, can you give us some numbers? I was looking at the, 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 the press release that you've sent us when I was preparing for this, and I was trying to get, I mean, is it, is it in every school in Gauteng, or is it in selected schools? What numbers are we talking about? So, so far we've worked at eight different schools, um, so that's a bit over 100 girls and as I said we teach those girls to do science shows for their friends so it's reached thousands of young people so far. Yes and being science and I'm sure you, you're up with, with technology you've got a, an app called Level Up Learning App. What does it do? Yes so one of the features of our project is that we, we not only teach the girls to do these activities for their friends but we make videos of them doing this and we say you're in charge you're the stars of a one minute long professional video and we put those videos on social media as well as the learning app called yeah, Level Up. You did send us some of those videos but unfortunately we had a technical problem this morning. We can't play your videos. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Now those videos will be of the, of the school girls doing stuff, building things or solving scientific problems. Is that, is that what it, they are about? Demonstrating these experiments and then explaining the scientific concepts behind them. Okay. Uh, how did this idea come about? It was after a long period of research with experts in the field and the girls themselves. We said to them, how do you want to learn science? Give us your feedback. Yeah, and what are you busy with now? What is the project focusing on currently? Right now we're actually expanding into several other African countries, Uganda, Zambia and Burkina Faso before the end of the year. Yeah. It must be difficult though to access because, I mean, we know education is really about access. Currently, we know in Africa in particular, uh, girls uh, or the girl child has difficulties in accessing education. That's yes. one big problem. Before yes. you even think about accessing a laboratory or a science lab, how, how do you find it is very difficult to get access yourselves to find them in the various parts where you can then convince their communities, the school teachers, the principals that, you know, we need to work with these girls after school? Right. Actually, access is not the problem, but it is as you say convincing communities to let us work with just girls they say why just girls why not the boys too and we have to explain because girls are denied access to these conversations from very young and we want to create the space for them to be in yeah I, 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 I expect then your, your approach will be hands-on will be fun as well. You, you want to make them to enjoy the, the, the process because sometimes science, like maths, is positioned as this monster subject. Absolutely. It's positioned as something uh, very outside of your daily life and just something that happens in a science lab or um, via learning uh, on a blackboard and from teacher to student. And we're saying science is all around you. Um, it's the thing that makes things work and we're going to show you what those things are and give you a very hands-on experience of it. Okay, and in terms of education departments, I mean, do you, do you have to also collaborate with them? Are they, have they been supportive? Let's just talk about in Gauteng. I know that the MEC for Education, Panya Zadi Sufi, is very big on, on, on technology, on high-tech schools and stuff like that. He was here just the other day talking to us about the opening of the first aviation-focused school. The, one of the high schools is being turned is being right. converted into aviation fixing in just outside the Oatambo International Airport. So do departments like that collaborate with you? Do, they, do you get support from them? In theory, they do support us, but we find it really difficult to deal with the bureaucracy and all the red tape. So we just go straight to the schools and we say, this is what we offer. These are our dates. Are you available? And will you let us come in? 
Okay. Besides expanding, you say you're going to be expanding to other parts of the continent. You mentioned several countries earlier. Uh, what other things, new things, what are the next steps that you're going to be doing uh, to make sure that uh, you reach more and more girls? What we really want to do is promote the videos we make. And we are pushing making videos in the home languages of the girls we work with. So uh, doing them in Zulu and Iskosa. Um, as a way of making science even more relatable and accessible. And we just want those videos to get out to as big an audience as possible. Okay, I'm hoping we're going to mention your website just now. Thank you very much, Victoria. Thank and you. all the best, and hope you enjoy the rest of Women's Day. Thank you very Thanks much, Thanks for coming Dan. through. That's Victoria John, Project Coordinator for the I Am Science Project. Now, if you want more information, you can check out their website. That's www.iamscienceproject.com. You can also download the learning app, which we've referred to a short while ago. It's called Level Up, and that's one word, Level Up. And if you are a teacher who would like to use the video content in your classroom, you can find the videos on YouTube.